guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing an empties slash repurchases slash hot new skincare video. I know you guys really enjoy my skincare videos, and so in the year of 2018, I'm definitely making an emphasis of doing more skincare videos as opposed to like makeup stuff or like, I don't know, lifestyle stuff. Unless you guys want me to do more lifestyle stuff because it is my last semester as a student, well, until I go to grad school, but grad school is a whole other story. If you wanna see more engineering vlogs or if you wanna see more lifestyle stuff, please, please, please leave in the comments down below what your ideas are because I'd love to hear them. Okay, so basically I have an enormous box full of empties that I'm going to talk about. So the first empty is something kind of random and it's a hand soap, but this is the Vandini Charming Balance Cream Soap. It has yellow stuff in it because I just really liked the bottle, so I put kitchen soap in here. I didn't want to let go of the bottle, but I did finish this up and yes, I did repurchase it because it is one of the best hand soaps I've ever tried. Ever since I started using the Vandini soaps, I've never had a problem with like excessively dry hands. Next up, we have two empty Dior lip balms and um, <sighs> yeah, I go through these like hotcakes like it's going out of style because I use these literally on an everyday basis like I will wear like a lipstick in the morning, but then as the day goes on, maybe I forgot my lipstick at home so I can't reapply it. I just stick this on top and it always looks good. So did I repurchase these? Yes, I did. Next empty is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I have talked about this at length in my Best of Beauty video, so I'm not gonna talk about it here, but um, yes, I did repurchase it as well. Damn, I'm repurchasing like everything I'm talking about. All right, here is the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector broad spectrum SPF 30. I loved this sunscreen for what it did at the time when I was using it. I used this in the fall when the weather was still really hot outside and so I think this like served its purpose but I don't think I'm going to repurchase it quite yet because it is getting a little bit colder here. I mean today is beautiful. It's like in the 70s today but you know January and February tend to be much colder months in Texas and so I don't think I'm going to repurchase this quite yet because I need the like extra hydration that my other sunscreens offer. Me. What I did repurchase is my Josie Marin SPF 47. This is just such a staple in my skincare routine because it is so hydrating. It has both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are great physical sunblocks. And this has never ever caused me to break out or have like irritation or sunburn. So I will, I think I'll always repurchase this. Next up is a shower gel, and this is the Alta Vendini Pure Shower Gel. And like, obviously, if you watched any of my videos in December, you know I went absolutely ham for the shower gel just because it smells so good and it just feels so nice and it feels so luxurious but it's so affordable so the answer is yes definitely gonna pick up another one of these and i actually already have one in the same category the vandini charming body fluid will i repurchase this i don't know if i'll repurchase this scent necessarily i think i like this scent a little better like right now so i think if i were to repurchase this one i would get it in the pure scent instead of the charming one by the way all of the products from aldo vandini are sold by sorel care on amazon you can use my discount code SCKIA10 for 10 percent off your entire purchase on amazon next up i have a facial moisturizer this is the paula's choice skin recovery replenishing moisturizer i already did repurchase this because it was a sale during black friday and so i bought two of these i think i feel like it's just a staple to have even though I do love the CVS health moisturizer. I think this one is just a little bit richer and more hydrating And so just depending on how my skin feels I do want to have this in my routine But I am using this one more often next up is you guessed it my purity cleanser And you know that I've been loving my alchemine cleanser But of course this is one of my like OG holy grail products And so yes, I did repurchase this during like the Sephora sale next up is another product from Sorel care This is the Numismed peach 5.5 sensitive protective skincare lotion this is one of my absolute favorite body lotions of all time because of the texture and how lightweight it is. It doesn't feel greasy or sticky at all, which I think is one of my biggest pet peeves in a body lotion. If you like put it on and then you get into your bed and you stick to your sheets, I really don't like that, but this never ever does that to me. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna get another one of these because this is just an absolute staple for me. And then my last empty is my Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask by Kosarx. All right, I don't know how I really feel about this. I think I did really enjoy what it did for my skin but I just hate the packaging and I know they make a like a tube form now and it's in my Amazon store because I do really recommend this product I do love it but I just don't think I'm going to repurchase it right now because as you're about to see there's a whole lot of skincare that I need to test out and I just 
I don't have room for this in my skincare routine right now and I do have other like honey products that I'm using to get my honey in my skincare routine so I think I just don't need to use this right now okay so that wraps up all my empties and now we're gonna move on to all of my hot new skincare I should clarify that not all this is hot new skincare some of this is repurchases and when it is a repurchase I will tell you that it's a repurchase and so first one is a repurchase this is my egg cream mask if you watched my Sephora haul video this was in it and I just stuck it in here because I like to keep all my backups in here so I love these masks they're really wet they're really saturated they really soften and hydrate my skin and so I love having these I'm definitely gonna take them on trips with me next up I have another repurchase this is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA gel I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this. I think I'm gonna give it to my mom only because I like my ordinary salicylic acid 2% solution a lot more because of the size and because it does the exact same thing but it's just way less expensive. So I think I'm gonna give this one to my mom. Next thing is a new product that I have tested out only once. This is the Worker Bee Unscented Lotion and I already know that I'm gonna absolutely love this just based on the ingredients which are on here. It's organic almond oil, organic olive oil, beeswax, raw honey, propolis tincture and vitamin E. So I already know I'm gonna love this. So I'm really excited to integrate this into my skincare routine. When I did apply it, it had it like a really thick consistency, which I really liked for my dry skin. Um, and especially the raw honey, which is a humectant, will draw moisture out of the air and into my skin. And then all the oils will help to hydrate and like lock in that moisture. So I'm really, really excited for this one. The next product is also from Worker Bee. And this is their Rescue Putty, which I think is one of their most famous products. And it's basically just like a really thick, putty basically with honey in it the ingredients are beeswax raw honey and organic olive oil so the ingredients are really natural and really really good for your skin and i imagine that i'm gonna use this a lot if i have dry patches especially if i have acne and then i use my benzoyl peroxide on it and my skin dries out like crazy i think this is going to be really helpful because it's a putty texture it's going to actually stay put on my skin and also it does have raw honey which is a humectant so it's going to draw moisture in but then the beeswax is going to lock the moisture in which is like super awesome combination to have Okay, last thing from Worker B is their lotion bar, which I am actually dying to try. This looks so, so interesting. It comes in a tin and it's kind of, it reminds me of the Lush massage bars. And it looks like this, which is so cute. It's like a honeycomb design with a little bee in the middle. And you know that I love like hexagons. Like hexagons are like really like my thing because they're like so common in chemistry. And I just think the shape of them is really nice, but I can't wait to try this. I'm really excited because I just feel like it's going to be an amazing product to use in addition to my other lotions on my skin and the ingredients are organic almond oil olive oil beeswax vitamin e oil and propolis tincture so that is a-okay with me the next product is actually something new that i have tried but this is a backup this is a bite beauty agave kisses set this was available at sephora during the holidays and really it's just such a cute little kit it comes with three things inside and so it comes with a lip balm a scrub and a mask and you know i'm ride or die for the lip mask i think it's one of the best lip masks i've ever tried in my entire life because it's so thick and rich and hydrating i've only tried the scrub once and i haven't tried the balm at all but i'll let you know what i think Okay, so yeah, I did repurchase the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Replenishing Moisturizer. I have this one, and then I also have one in here in my skincare drawer, which is one that I'm kind of like rotating through right now. Um, but this is just the backup that I have, and I think when the weather gets a lot colder, I'm definitely going to rely on this guy. I also have a backup of my Aldo Vandini Charming Hand Cream. I love this Charming Hand Cream. I have a bunch of these floating around my apartment and also in my backpack. I also have like the travel size hand creams as well as a backup. And so these are just great to keep. I like to keep them in here because I just love having backups of everything, especially stuff that I like freaking love. Speaking of backups, I have another hand care set that I'm waiting to use until I run out of my current soap, which is in my bathroom right now. Um, again, another backup of the hand cream. Like guys, I'm serious. These hand creams are so, so bomb. You need to try them. They're super affordable. This kit is like 13 or 14 dollars I think and then if you use my code SCKaya10 it brings the price down even lower If there's one brand that I think you should try I think it's Sorel Care because they have amazing stuff. It's super affordable. It's vegan. It's cruelty free It's BDS safe. Like I don't know what more you would want in a brand. I have another backup of my Glossier Boy Brow um, This is in the shade clear. Uh, that's just what I use on my eyebrows I don't fill in my brows. I just thread them and pluck them myself. So yeah, I just use the Glossier Boy Brow in clear. I have another 
another Real Techniques beauty sponge. I have one sitting over, oh, you can't see it, but I have one sitting in here in my makeup containers, um, and then I have a backup right here. Next product is a new one. This is the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I don't, I don't remember even getting this, but it looks really interesting, so I might try it out. The only reservation I have is that it's jar packaging. I don't really feel good about like applying moisturizers that have jar packaging, but I'm still willing to give it a shot. I also have a trial size of the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, and so I'm surprised I haven't tried this yet, because I do really like cleansing balms. It smells really nice. Next product is another repurchase. This is a Josie Marin SPF 47. I repurchased this um, some time ago. I just haven't gotten around to using it yet because I'm still using up my current bottle. But yeah, definitely a staple repurchase that I will continue to buy. Then I have a Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection Cream. I'm still waiting to try it. I'm still using up one of my other heat protectants. And so as soon as I finish using that one for like straightening my hair, um, I'll try to use this one. Oh, what do you know? Another hand cream. Like seriously, I'm not joking about these hand creams. I love them. I lied. I have one more thing from Worker Bee. This is their lip balm, which has beeswax, olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, raw honey, and propolis tincture, and vitamin E oil. I'm really excited to give this a whirl. I did try it a few times, but I'm really picky with lip balm, so I'm trying to give it a fair shot and not compare it to other stuff because it is a lip balm. It's not a lip mask, and so I'm trying to find an appropriate use for it. We're making progress. Then I have a bunch of stuff from The Ordinary that I still need to try. I'm just gonna name them off really fast. I have the Argan Oil, Niacinamide, Lactic Acid, and Marula Oil. Um, I'm still going through my rosehip seed oil, so when I'm done with the rosehip seed oil, probably gonna try out the Argan Oil. After I'm done with the Argan Oil one, then I'm gonna try the Cold Pressed Version Marula Oil. And then once I'm done with my normal AHA exfoliant, I'm gonna try the Ordinary's Lactic Acid 10% with Hyaluronic Acid Spheres. And then also, at some point, I need to work in this Niacinamide solution because I am really, really curious about it. I just don't know how to work it into my routine yet, so work in progress. Okay, so speaking of alpha hydroxy acids, I have another backup of my Paula's Choice 10% glycolic acid serum. I freaking love this, but I do really want to try the Ordinary's Lactic Acid Solution, and so I think once I'm done with my current bottle of this, I'm going to try the Ordinary's. If I don't like the Ordinary's, I'm just going to use this one, but if not, I'll just switch between the two. I have two Josie Maron Whipped Argan Oil Lotions in Vanilla Bean and V True, which is unscented. These are really nice. I don't really know why I have these. I think it was a point prick at Sephora at some point, but they're just really nice, like, whipped hand creams. They're not super practical because they're in jar packaging, which is why I really prefer the ones from Alda Vendini sold by Sorel Care. Um, but these are really nice to have anyway. I have a little baby size of the Josie Maron 100% Pure Argan Oil. This came as a sample, I think, but I do know that I like this oil a lot and I love how tiny it is. So this is gonna be great for traveling. All right, the next few things are all from Paula's Choice. This is gonna go fast. Um, I repurchased the Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Oil Absorbing Mask. This is an amazing clay mask. If you have normal, oily, or very oily skin or combination skin, if you have dry skin, stay away from this. It's going to hurt because it's so, so drying. Um, but if you have oily skin, this really helps. Also, it really helps to like apply on breakouts. I am glad I repurchased this one because I am almost out of my current one. I'm almost out of my current one, so I'm glad I have another one. Paula's Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster. Again, I do have one from The Ordinary. What is that percentage though? Wow, it's like the same thing. This is 10% Niacinamide, this is 10% Niacinamide. So I might do like a blog post or a video or something where I compare the ingredients and compare like the effectiveness. So if you wanna see like a comparison video maybe, uh, give this video a thumbs up so I can gauge your interest. Okay, so that is everything. Thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me. I really wish you could see the enormous mess I've created just trying to film this video, but I think it was worth it. I think this is like a pretty interesting video to see like what my empties are, what I have repurchased, what I'm planning to repurchase, what I'm not gonna repurchase, and also just some hot new skincare that I'm really excited about. That's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.